Hillary's October surprise is death by email. It's hard to believe that this woman could possibly imagine that she could hide 15,000 emails, not turn them over to the feds, and assume that the FBI would never find them. Absolutely incredible. And what she's now done is completely outsmarted herself, because rather than get the emails out of the way in April and May and June, they're going to be in the way in August, September, and October, and November. A federal judge has ordered the State Department to produce the emails and to process them by September 23rd, about seven weeks before the election. Uh, and then they'll come out over the next two or three weeks after that, and they'll come out in the middle of October. So the historic Clinton strategy that she has always used, that I discuss in my book Armageddon, How Trump Can Beat Hillary, has always been delay, delay, delay. That's how she handled Ken Starr and all of the other investigations. But now what she's done is delay it right into the middle of the election. Uh, this could have been out of the way a long time ago. This is the greatest self-inflicted wound in American political history. It's absolutely incredible. And now these emails are going to be daily fair all throughout the election, particularly in October and November. They'll be like the one from Bahrain, where the Sultan of Bahrain, the oil-rich emirate, uh, wanted a meeting with Hillary, and the State Department said no, and uh, so he gave $32 million to the Clinton Global Initiative and $5 million to the Clinton Foundation, and all of a sudden, Doug Band, Bill's chief of staff, got in touch with Uma Abedin, Hillary's chief of staff, and presto, the meeting happened. You're going to see stuff like this over and over again. UBS uh, had a gigantic tax fight with the federal government, and Hillary settled it after UBS made a donation to the Clinton Foundation. This kind of stuff is going to come out, and it's going to kill her. I, I, I just, even after a lifetime of watching Hillary Clinton screw things up, watching her inflict these wounds on herself, tying herself into a pretzel, uh, because of the lies and obfuscations. It is very hard to believe what's going on right now. But I think it will stop her from being elected president. So please spread this video all over the place and get my book Armageddon, How Trump Can Beat Hillary. In it, I explain that this whole email thing was a r device to cover up the bribery. Uh, that's why she did it. That's why she has the emails, the pay-for-play scheme of the Clinton Foundation. You know, when I knew the Clintons and worked for them, they wanted money in order to get power. Now they want power in order to make more money, and it's disgusting. Um, go to my website, uh, dickmorris.com, and sign up, and I'll send you these videos every day. But really, post this and share it all over the place. We have got to get this message out. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope you like me and you click like, because that way we can be in touch more often. Thanks a lot, and thanks for watching.